by testing out the FX chronograph against the Pro Crony DXL. We want to see if uh, we have a mount we made for the FX, and we want to see how the different chronographs register compared to each other. Ten seventy three on the pro. Ten seventy two. Ten seventy two on the FX. And today we are actually shooting the fortieth anniversary day state, the uh, Genesis, I think it's pronounced. Ten sixty eight. Ten sixty seven. Ten sixty seven. So we got one foot per second difference between the two of them. Ten seventy one and ten seventy two. Yeah. Wow. That's awesome. The thing that's neat about the FX is it mounts right onto the barrel. So you don't need any other support equipment or... 1067, 1069. And today we're shooting the H&N Magic Greens the tin pellets. 1069 and 1069. Oh, we got a match. 1070 and 1069. And we're also testing out a, an adapter for the FX chronograph made by New England Air Gun, which you can see the elastics holding it on. Let you hang the chronograph right from your barrel, do your shooting. We've got 1071. 1074. 1074. That was a difference. 1067. 1067. Yeah. Ten seventy. Ten sixty seven. We're also testing out another item here today. This gun rest, a foam gun rest that's easy, light, portable, stick it in your range bag. And this is made by I'll let John read it. Who's that foam block made by? Foam Action Sports. Foam Action Sports. So we got 1069 and 1072. 1072. So that is all for our number testing. And you can see how this uh, FX chronograph is very close to uh, the regular benchtop model.